Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Shield and this is Emotionally Naked Dating, where for the last 17 years I have been showing savvy single women how to find the guardian of their soul. So today I want to share a post that I put on Facebook recently that got a lot of attention. You may not have seen it if you're not on one of my pages. And so I thought I would share it with you. It's called Happy 17th slash 15th Anniversary to Us. 17 years ago, I sat in a little Thai restaurant in Los Feliz waiting for my first date with my future husband. It was in the early days of internet dating when all my friends told me the kind of guy I would be looking for would never date online. What did I know? Like, I wasn't getting asked out offline and I knew my prospects of meeting a man in Los Angeles where every other woman looks like a Victoria's Secret model were slim. So what did I have to lose by trying it out? Benjamin, who is never late for anything, got lost on the way to the restaurant. This was when cell reception sucked and texting didn't even exist. So I sat there for a good 20 minutes, not knowing that my life was soon to change forever. Benjamin finally got cell reception and called the restaurant to tell me that he was on his way. I later learned that something I said to him during that conversation was one of the two things that made him fall in love with me that night. Benjamin was certain that the date was already ruined. But I had been reading The Power of Now. In it, Eckhart Tolle writes that when someone is late, rather than getting upset, you should just say, no worries, I'm just sitting here in enjoying myself, which is exactly what I said. Then I added, take all the time you need. I will be here when you get here. Benjamin dropped his shoulders, felt at ease, and thought, who is this woman? Ten minutes later, he arrived and immediately spotted me sitting at a little table in the corner sipping jasmine tea. He took my hand in both of his, looked deep into my eyes, and said, it is so nice to meet you. He held my gaze a little bit longer, and as he did, I knew that he was the finest human being I have ever met. Anyone who knows Benjamin will tell you that he exudes a blend of integrity, kindness, presence, and masculinity that is rarely seen. I had no idea how our lives would fit together, but I didn't need to worry. Being the man that he is, Benjamin took the lead in every way. On the first anniversary of our first date, he asked me to marry him. Shortly after that, he told me to look for a house for us. And on the second anniversary of our first date, we were married in a small intimate gathering in the living room of our new home. Over these past 17 years, we have become lovers, playmates, and best friends. In the beginning, he would say to me, I love you so much now, I can't even imagine how much I will love you in five years. So often I hear women say, I want a man, but I don't need a man. I am so proud to say that I want and need a man, a man to share my life with me, a man who brings gifts that only a man can bring. Being with the right man has turned my life from black and white to technicolor. Because of Benjamin Shield, every single moment of the last 17 years has been magical. And I'm talking about sharing both the good and the bad. When my dogs or our parents were dying, Benjamin Shield was by my side and made everything easier to bear. Today, as I write this, both of our dogs are undergoing cancer treatment. It's true. We were heartbroken to find out that our 12-year-old Sharpay Milo was sick. But learning that our beautiful Bernese Mountain Dog Owen has an inoperable brain tumor is beyond any grief I have ever known. Right now, I am feeling equal measures of heartbreak and gratitude. I am heartbroken over Milo and Owen but I am also filled with gratitude that I have my beautiful husband by my side 
to help hold me up as we face the coming days ahead. Benjamin, I love you with every cell of my being. I couldn't imagine going through life with anyone else by my side. You have made me the happiest woman alive. You continue to blow me away and surprise me by the depth of your wisdom and kindness. Did you really read the four agreements twice after our first date knowing that I had studied with Don Miguel? I couldn't feel more loved and cherished and protected than I already do. You have done more to make me happy in a single year than most people experience in an entire lifetime. What did I ever do to deserve you? <laughs> For those of you who have read this far, thank you. I am sure you're wondering what the second thing was that I said to Benjamin to make him fall in love with me and take his profile down after our first date. I said, you know, I've been working so hard on myself for the past eight years and I'm done working hard. All I want to do is find an amazing partner and have fun. Benjamin later told me that that was the most beautiful thing any woman had ever said to him. And it was exactly what he was looking for to. I'm Lisa Shield. This is Emotionally Naked Dating, finding true love with nothing to hide. If you like what you hear in my videos, please feel free to go to my website, lisashield.com, click on the link to my 45 minute webinar. And if you like what you hear, let's jump on a call and see how I can help you find the guardian of your soul.